Okay, let's talk about basic layout with HTML. So there's some fairly common patterns that you'll see when looking at web pages. A lot of them will have a header across the top. There'll be some sort of nav bar across the top. The main content could be one column. It might be two columns, but there'll be a definitely a main focal area for the page. Then you can have a footer at the bottom that has some aside content, some extra links, things like that, things that uh, you don't need right up front, like the privacy policy or a link to the contact uh, information, things like that. So how do we build these things in HTML? What are the proper HTML tags that we're supposed to use to create this? Well, one of the first ones is actually called header. There is a tag called header and inside of that, that's where you would put any sort of company identifying information. What is the website that I'm on right now? So this will be your company name, logo, the website name, something to that effect. That's what goes up inside the header. Now you can have multiple heading tags inside here if you want. You can have an image tag with the logo, like I was saying, logo. Um, that's usually the first one. Sometimes you'll have a navigate navigation area that's above it, sometimes below it. Um, you can place it in either one, but there is a nav element. So header, nav, inside of here we can have a series of anchor tags that point to various locations. So we'll say this is our index.html, this is our home page. Uh, another common standard that you'll see is Often the company name, the company logo, those things will be wrapped inside of an anchor tag. So if somebody clicks on that, it's the same thing as clicking the home button. You could come up here and put an anchor tag around this, and then that would make the entire H1 tag into a link that you can click on to go to the same place as this. Inside the nav, you can have one, you can have a hundred links, whatever you want. It's just really describes this as a navigation area. And you can have multiple navigation areas. Sometimes there'll be one below, sometimes one above, sometimes both. Sometimes there's a navigation area that goes down the side of the page. There's a lot of uh, interpretation for where you want to put these things, how you want to arrange them. The order that we write things in the HTML Yes, this is the order that the browser will read them and display them. So the header will be above the nav because that's the order that I've written them, top to bottom inside of the body tag. However, when we write our style sheets, our CSS, we're going to add link tags up inside the head here, which point to a style sheet. With that, those styles, we're going to be able to position things different places on the page. If we want to rearrange the order a little bit, we will be able to do that. But this is really the sort of order of importance that we want. Then, very often, we'll have a main element. And down at the bottom, that's where you would put your footer element. Inside the footer, you can have other information about the website. You can put other anchor tags inside of here. You can have a nav area inside the footer if you want. Sometimes you'll have a list of links. So you'll have a UL, which is an unordered list. And then inside each one of the list items, there will be an anchor tag. So you can have a list of links that's inside your footer or inside the nav bar even. I can put inside here, just as an example. So a UL, unordered list with a series of list items and I'm going to put my anchor tag inside of here like this. I'll duplicate that a few times. My page 2, my page 3, 4, and so on. Whatever these pages are going to be called and I would change of course the hyper reference. This is where the pages are going. So these would be other HTML files that we would have just like this. Okay, so this is our navigation area. Uh, and then our main content we'd have our main content for the page. There could be inside of here another subheading. So the H2 is the heading that's not quite as important as the H1, but for our main area this is the main heading for this. 
Um, the blue that you're seeing on here, like when I was clicking on this, this is something that Brackets is doing for me to give me the live preview. Uh, that's not something that the browser is doing. It's something that uh, Brackets is doing to show you what you're clicking on. Um, so these are the main elements, body, header, nav, main, footer. There are a few others. There is an aside. So if you've got a sidebar, secondary content, something that's related to the main area, but it doesn't have to be included in here. If it wasn't there, it would be okay. Something that is not quite as important. So as an aside, there's also, um, if you want to take your main and break it up into several pieces, we could come inside here and create sections. So we can have multiple sections inside of here. We can give them IDs to differentiate them if we want. So I can come in here like this. So here's one section. Here's another section. Both of these sections are inside my main area. Now, whether I used section or article or main or nav, these are different tags, but they don't really look any different. Like article. This could also have an H2 and paragraphs inside of it. There's no visual difference between them. What we're doing with these tags is we're creating some semantics. We're explaining to the browser what the level of importance is. What is the meaning of the information inside of these? Nav, so the browser knows. So Google and the other search engines, when they look at your page, they know, hey, this is your main navigation area. These are the, where the links are going to be kept, most of the links. Sections, well, it's broken up. So they may or may not be related to one another. They could be two different sections of content. Article, well, this is a self-contained little article. Um, visually, not different, just slightly different semantics. Think of an article as something in a magazine or a newspaper. There's an article. Uh, a section could contain multiple articles if you wanted. Now, one thing, when you look at the web and you start looking at the source of other pages, you will find that a lot of them don't necessarily have header, nav, main, section, article. You won't see this. What you will see is a lot of times a tag called div. And then there'll be an ID or a class. So if I come down here, find my other one. There's my two sections, my article, and then here's the end of my div. Back before HTML5 came out, in the previous versions of HTML, we didn't have header, nav, article, aside, footer, main, um, section. All we had was div. A div was a part of your page. It's kind of like a section tag. It's like the header, this would have been a div. The nav, this would have been a div. The main, this is a div. Inside of here, these sections are divs. The article is a div. The aside is a div. The footer is a div. We just gave them IDs or classes to differentiate one from another. And then with these IDs and classes, we'd use our style sheets to make them look the way that we wanted. But it started to happen that there was such commonality between all the web pages and how people were building them that it made sense to actually create tags to describe these common areas of the page that you would see all the time. So if you look at pages from, let's, here, let's go look at BBC World News. If we inspect the page, we go in here and we look inside of this, you'll see here's a div, here's a div. There's h3, anchor tag, div, 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 div. So there's tons of divs on the page. They're not using section and article and, and so on because they're using HTML that has been around since before HTML5. They've updated the content, obviously, but um, <laughs> kind of old habits die hard. If you were going to write proper HTML, the 
the recommended thing to do is actually leverage these tags. Instead of just making everything a div, actually use the appropriate semantic tags. Give some meaning to the areas on your page. If you've got an area that's going to be for navigation, put a nav tag around it. If you've got a section that's for your headings, put a header tag around it. The main content for your page, put a main around it. It helps you when you're editing your page. It helps other people if they're working on the page with you. And it also helps the search engines to give relative importance to the different parts of the page so we can understand what's the main part of the page, what's an aside, what's the footer, you know, so we can rank things. When somebody types in a search word, well, if that search phrase is showing up in your main content and then for somebody else's page, it's showing up in the footer, it means for your page, that search phrase, phrase is probably a lot more relevant. So you're going to be ranked higher in the search engines. So try to use the semantic tags. And this is how you build a basic layout with HTML. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.